<laughs> Sorry guys, I had to do that. That's been sitting in my closet for years, and then I realized when I was going through my closet today, hey, that's been sitting in my closet for years. And now, out of nowhere, there's this big clown thing going on. You know, obviously you guys know all about the clowns. There's clowns everywhere. There's clowns right behind you right now. You better check just in case you don't want to die. I don't really know what's going on with the clowns, guys. There's people out there getting injured. There's people getting arrested. All kinds of crazy shit, okay? It's a big old crazy shit show out there. So just stay safe, okay? Don't get killed by a clown. Anyway, guys, welcome back to Tuesday. It's so nice to see you today. I know, I can't actually see you, but can we just pretend for a minute that I can? You look freaking beautiful, okay? Good job. Today, we're gonna open some more mail. I know what you're thinking. This is new. This is exciting. Yeah. It is. First letter here, guys, is probably from somewhere in England. It was sent by Royal Mail. There's no return address. Probably a smart idea, man. You don't want random strangers knowing your address. That's creepy. All right, first up, we got a picture. It says, bad drawing of Matt. Okay, sure. Then there's another drawing of Matt, but this one doesn't say it's a bad drawing, so I guess it's not a bad drawing, so good job. I'm not making a bad drawing. Hello, Matt. Sorry about the writing and drawing. I live in England. I'm nine, and I'm called, uh... I don't know what that says, guys. I kind of want to say coward, but I'm assuming they don't call themselves a coward. But either way, uh, they said best YouTuber. Thank you very much. And there's a question here. It says, what do you do with your old PC parts? Hmm. Usually what I do is I, um, I sell them to one of my buddies at a discounted price. Because, I mean, I, I upgrade my graphics card now and then, and I think the last two went to my buddy Jason. You're welcome, Jason. The next letter is from Sarah in Newfoundland. All right, there's one piece of paper here, guys, and it said Matt on it, and I opened it up, and it says to Matt, and it's a picture of me, and it's got like a, it says what's in the tube, and it has the amount of views and when it was published. It's basically like my description and stuff written out. That's cool. And there's also one that says Ashley on it. Okay, so this one I think is to Ashley, so I'm gonna save that so she can open it herself. I only feel like that's fair, okay? This letter is from Baltimore, Maryland. Hmm, I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing, guys. I, I just, I read out things and then I make weird faces. Hmm. Dear Matt Shay, the first thing I want to say is that I'm typing this because my handwriting is bad. I think you're the best YouTuber even though other people do not think so. Never heard of these people. You brightened my day and you should be given so much more credit. P.S. I'm sorry there's no present, but I hope you can show this letter on a video because I love you and your videos so much. Also, you can share my name if you want. Okay, Brandon. It says here, from your favorite fan, Brandon. Brandon, you are a pretty confident dude if you think that you're my favorite fan. But maybe, maybe now you are, okay? Just so you guys know, sorry to everybody else, but Brandon is my favorite. I don't even want to open the rest of these things, man, because it's not going to be anything in comparison to Brandon, you know? I'm trying to figure out what's in this one, guys. It's, it's pretty thick. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of spongy. I'm gonna open it up. I think that's probably the best way to find out. And also, it is from... Washington. I'm pretty sure this says Puyallup on it, guys. Puyallup, Washington. I didn't know that was a place, but I need to go there someday now. Alright, Michaela from Puyallup. Let's find out what's in here. It's cardboard, guys. They put it in cardboard so that it would protect whatever's inside, because apparently it's an art and a letter. Really appreciate you protecting the goods, Michaela, but could you have put a little bit less tape on here? Huh? It would be great if I had like a knife or something on me, but I don't, so I'm just gonna try and drill through it. Come on! Do it! Do it! Yeah! Ugh. It's working. Alright. Maybe I can just slip this out now, guys. I don't wanna have to get the other sides. Hey! I got it! Woohoo! Okay, this is awesome, guys. First up, we have this lovely drawing of me. My camera even detects the face on it, so that's good. That shows you that it must be a good drawing, right? Yeah. And here's the kicker, guys. It comes with a melon hat! You can put it over my face! <laughs> I love that. Thank you so much, Michaela. There's also a little letter here, so we should read that as well. Hi, Matt. My name is Michaela, and I'm 19. I just wanted to tell you that I love watching your videos every day. You're awesome and I hope you can enjoy doing what you love for a long time because your fans love it too. Anyways, here's a drawing of you from that video when you had to clean that big nasty foot in your house. I hope you like it. Included is a melon hat and a kraken. Kraken. Where's, where's the kraken? Where's, where's the kraken? Found it! It was still inside the cardboard and I gotta say, it's pretty sweet, guys. Thank you very much, Michaela. So in addition to the fan mail, guys, I also have one other thing I want to open for you. It was sent to me by the publisher of the game Gang Beasts. You know, that crazy game with all the doughboys running around. I love that game. They sent me a little email and they were like, hey, thanks for playing Gang Beasts. Do you want to get a press package for a game called Shoe? And I was like, 
I wear shoes, so yeah, I do. Now, it's actually spelled S-H-U, guys, and uh, I got the box right here. I'll show you the back, okay, because my address is on the front. Let's open it up. I haven't gotten many press packages in my life, guys. I don't even know if I've gotten any. I'm trying to think here now, but nothing rings a bell. I've gotten a few, like, a few things sent to me, you know, by companies, but, uh, yeah, look at this. I love press packages because they have the coolest stuff in there. Like, look at this box with shoe written on it. This is pretty cool. I'm gonna open it up. Okay. It's nice and colorful. It's like a, I guess the, the color theme of the game is purple because there's a lot of, like, purple stuff in here. Looks nice, eh? What's this? Ooh, it's a little, it's a little thing. I'm assuming it must be in the game. <laughs> Dear Matt, thank you for your continued support with Shoe. We hope you enjoy the game as much as we enjoyed making it. Your code will be emailed to you shortly. Thanks, CoatSync Software. There's a little art book here with a bunch of the artwork from the game in it, which I think is pretty cool. It looks like a neat game. I haven't actually tried it out yet. What is this? Oh, look at that. Never got something like this before. It's, uh, it's like a piece of fabric with art on it instead of like, you know, paper or something like that. Pretty cool. And then there's a t-shirt. I think it's a t-shirt. It's really big. Is it two t-shirts? It's two t-shirts. <laughs> That's good, because if it was just one t-shirt, I'd be like, damn, how big do you think I am? I'm a pretty small dude, okay? I'm a manlet. There's a medium and an extra large, guys. I'm not really sure why, but I can wear them both now. Taking off clothes is a lot of work, so I'm just gonna keep putting it on. Here is shirt number one. It's pretty cool. I like the design. And here is shirt number two which is just a bigger version of shirt number one, so I don't really need to show you. But I'll show you anyway. I look so big in this shirt, guys. <laughs> Holy crap. Look at me, guys. I look so big. <laughs> Honestly, guys, it feels kind of weird wearing this shirt because it is way, way too big for me. Maybe I will take this one off. I'll leave the other two shirts on. So that's it for this week's meal reading, guys. I don't really have this crazy video planned today. All right, it's pretty simple. I was thinking earlier today, like, what am I gonna do for my Tuesday video, man? I probably should start recording the Tuesday videos on Monday, which gives me more time to actually think about this stuff. But it was Tuesday morning, which was this morning, and I was thinking about it, and I said, you know what? Why come up with the original idea when you can just take something you've already done and do it again? So we're gonna be putting some clothespins on my face, cause, cause you t clearly didn't know that from the title of the video or anything, yeah! I did a video once called the Clothespin Challenge, guys, where I played the game I Wanna Be The Guy, it's one of those rage platformers, and every time I died, I put a clothespin on my face. It was fun, okay? But I didn't, you know, fit as many clothespins as I could on my face, I just eventually gave up out of the pain because of the pain or whatever. But the reason it hurts so much is because I had to wait so long in between. So today what we're gonna do is we're just gonna see how many clothespins I can fit on my face. All right, does that sound like some incredible content? I know, right? Okay, so I bought 108 clothespins, guys. Let's go ahead and see how many of these I can get on my face. So let me let you guys in on a little bit of a tip before we get started here. The best way to do this to avoid pain as much as possible is to put it on the stuff that hurts the least first and work your way into the things that hurt the most, such as, you know, the lips and stuff, okay? So I'm just gonna start on uh, on this stuff here and the ears, and we'll just keep on going. So let's go ahead and put number one on the ear, guys. Doesn't really hurt that much. I used to have my ears pierced as well, in case you guys didn't already know. I had them stretched to six millimeters, but then I took them out and they pretty much went back to normal. You can hardly tell they're even there. Number two, three, four. Oh, ow! Let me just go for the chin then. The chin is not so bad. <laughs> my poor... My poor chin. I had a mirror around here somewhere, guys, but I can't find it right now. It would probably help me with this whole putting clothespins on my face thing, but, um, whatever. Gotta put them extra close together, guys, because you want to get as many on as possible. And I'm gonna leave out the chin, considering the chin makes <laughs> makes the clothespins go flying. I'll ask kind of how many clothespins this is, guys. I'll count them when I take them off, okay? I can leave a counter on the video or something, but I'm not gonna bother trying to count them now. Actually, once I get to 36, I'll know that I have 36 on because I'll have uh, I'll have a bag used up. What am I doing with my life, guys? I often wonder that, you know? I often have like existential crises where I'm like, yo, maybe, maybe I should do something worthwhile with my life. But then I'm like, nah. Man, I feel like I have so many clothespins on my face already, guys, and I've hardly, I've hardly got half a bag done. This is bad. To all you people watching this video, Stop pretending that I don't look majestic as fuck, okay? Just, just, just stop. Okay, I'm starting to use up the side of my face, guys. Where am I gonna go next? Can I do, 
Can I do my uh, my neck? Does that count as my face? I'm gonna count it, okay? So I can get more clothespins on me. Remember, kids, it's okay to do really stupid shit if you get internet views for it. Makes me sad to think that there's probably little kids around the world who are saying, Mommy, when I grow up, I wanna be a YouTuber. <laughs> no, you don't. Here's number 36, guys. 36 clothespins have been applied to my face and I feel fine. Aside from the pain, I guess I'll go with the eyebrows next guys. I got enough eyebrow I can I can do lots of clothespins on my eyebrow, but this is the part where you kind of stop being able to see me that well <laughs> Lucky for you guys. You don't have to look at me much longer now. Do you guys like my eyebrows? Huh? Oh, 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 oh Jesus What is out? Oh, I'm gonna use my cell phone as a mirror guys. I didn't think about that It's like yeah, I'm in the freaking 21st century. I have a phone Jesus Oh, I look awful. Okay, that's the eyebrows done, guys. No, oh shit. Even just moving them a little bit caused a bunch of them to- Oh! Oh! I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay, why did I think it was a good idea to put them on my eyebrows first, guys? Holy shit. I can- I can still put some here. Okay, I can still put some on my face. This is so gonna limit the mobility of my face, guys. I guess it's- it's gonna limit the mobility of my face a lot. Okay, because if I move- it's gonna pop the pins off. And you know, it hurts when the clothespins pop off because they start nipping the very edge of your skin. You know? It's it's not good, but we're we're approaching 72 clothespins, guys. Holy crap. I think I can do nose before I do mouth, guys. How many clothespins can I get in one nostril? Probably just one. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna get I'm gonna get two. There you go. Two clothespins, one nostril, the latest from your favorite shock site. Oh boy, send this to all your friends and gross them out. It really is starting to get a bit much now, isn't it, guys? I mean, I got uh, 68 as far as I can kill. T kill? Really? Matt? What, what the hell? You, you get clothespins on your face and all of a sudden you can't speak English? Good job. Anyway, uh, I got about 69 now. 69's a good number. Here we go for number 70. Oh yeah. Okay, so once the mouth is done, guys, I think that's pretty much it. You're doing good, buddy. You're doing great work, Matt. You're doing- you're saving lives here with this YouTube channel, buddy. Keep it up. There's no more room for clothespins on my face, man. Look at this. I can't- Look at my mouth right now! Look at this all I got going on here now. Huh? Pretty soon you're gonna need some subtitles in order to understand what I'm saying. One more. I can get one more on my mouth. <clears throat> got it. Okay. So, that's- that's another one. And that's that, that, that's that's my mouth done. That's that's all for now. I don't know where else to go, guys. I don't. My, my eyebrows. They need to be done again. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Can we consider that enough clothespins? I can't really see anything else on my face, guys. Uh, one just fell off, but that's okay. Let me add up. Let me let me count these. Okay. Let's just let's just do this for fun, even though I can see later. I'm gonna count these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. 24. 108 minus 24 is 86 clothespins on my face. Am I more person or am I more clothespin at this point, guys? I don't even know. Let me, let me get these out. Okay, let, let me get these out. I hope this was even better than the first time I put clothespins on my face. Okay? Okay. So I counted 85, guys. I think I might have lost count at some point along the lines. Take a look at my face, okay? Just take a look at it. I'm pretty sure last time I did this, my lips hurt for days afterwards. Kind of forgot about that. Just, just that's just the joys of making YouTube content, guys. Okay, I could have, I could have done anything. I could have done a, I could have done a stupid challenge where I watch a video. But no, you know what's even better than doing that? Putting eighty-six clothespins on your face. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.